Hey guys, it's Mathel here once again, and yes, you read that correctly. I consider this Fireball Elementalist probably the second most fun character I've played in the Atlas since the expansion. Uh, that is, of course, behind Dream Feather ST. Dream Feather ST had the perfect combination of defenses, speed, um, damage, just playstyle, everything. It is the perfect build for me. Uh, in any case, this has to be the second one so far that I've played, and I've still got a bit of things to figure out, because um, as you can see in the video right now, I am hybrid, and as I said, I was going to try to make hybrid, and I tried my best to make it work, and it does, but it's basically just a worse version of other builds you could make, like CI or low life. Uh, I do feel that life-based casters at the moment are in a bit of a struggle at um, in its current stage. You can make life-based other characters just fine, but casters themselves, it kind of feels like there's basically no reason to do it on that top side of the tree, and going CI or low life just makes way more sense. But that said, I did take the hybrid and life-based character up to tier 15 maps, and even killed a guardian or two, without too many issues. Um, but ultimately, my life pool wasn't that amazing, and the way I built it wasn't great. I had about 5k life and about 3k ES, 2 or 3k ES covering it. I think if you want to go hybrid, you do have to do it the other way around and get something like 2 or 3,000 life and go like 5, 6k ES, which should be just a stronger form of defense and give you a slightly smoother um, operating system on your character because it was a bit of a struggle whenever I went into lower life stages. Um, ran out of my ES, it wouldn't regen, and then I'm essentially just a 4k life character, 4 or 5k life character. So by this point I had respect into CI, and this is something like a level 80 canyon, and my god is it fun to be an elementalist essentially. Elementalist is still very much strong as fuck, um, and in some cases stronger with the conflux that's changed. So a fire-based elemental is definitely, you're at least always igniting, but sometimes you're going to be getting the shocks and the chills, and as well as that, you do have the prolif going for free, and you don't have to worry too much about reflect. So my character doesn't have any leech, doesn't need any leech, and um, basically I just try and avoid taking damage. I do have um, some good ES regen too, so whenever I do need to do that, I take a step back, and regen a bit of ES. But for the most part, I'm just playing it kind of safe here or there, and killing just about everything in a one shot, and focusing largely on my burn and prolif damage, rather than just strictly the overlap with fireball and rolling flames, as a lot of people like to do. So there's still a bit to figure out for my character, um, now that I've respect CI at level 90, but at level 90, I haven't really slowed down. I haven't felt too bad about playing the character. I'm pretty happy to go on and make probably another level or two, at the very least, in the endgame maps, because I'm having a lot of fun mapping on him. Loving the burns. As you can see, they are getting rather strong, especially now that I just then six-linked my Infernal Mantle, which is pretty much what you're seeing here. Uh, six-link action for the most part. Uh, the Vile Fireball though, just a 4-link and still going to be effective as ever, especially for maps like this, which is something like a little 79 Tropical Island, and uh, basically built for Vile Fireballing with the Prolif action. You can just sustain from one pack to another. This is just a tier 15 core. You can see some really nice examples of burns here. The bosses, though they're not very strong anymore, um, are dying pretty much faster than any other character I've had face them. This is very much close to the burn damage of the Vortex Trapper, if not superior, and probably just a slightly nicer playstyle. So point for point, if you're going to do a CI burn-based character, I'd probably take this Elementalist over the Trapper. The only thing the Trapper really has over this one would be Reflect Immune maps and being completely Reflect Immune. So there is that for bonuses, as well as some pretty damn cool MTX. But all in all, um, I'm loving this character. I'm loving Fireball. I'll test it out on Guardians and Shaper tomorrow and see if Fireball holds up. If not, I will potentially try out Flame Blast with some Conk Effect action, stacking to 10, and see if that is any stronger than 
this current fireball setup for a single target. But for AoE, for mapping, uh, this fireball setup is perfect and I'm very much happy with it. Probably more fun to me than Flame Blast. We'll see if Flame Blast is good enough or worth using. So I'll show you real quick what the setup looks like now that I'm CI and essentially what I changed. So at the moment character's level 90 and I did hybrid and life all the way up to level 90. And let me just say it's not that bad. Uh, I went from 89, no, 88 to 90 without a life flask because I happened to forget my life flask and I was still completely life based and I didn't even have a life flask for that entire level and I didn't die once and leveled in about an hour so it is still very doable but CI is just a bit smoother and nicer to play so I'd recommend doing that if you want the best experience with your character. Uh, the passive tree now looks something like this and I've dropped one of my rolling flames which was up here and I only have one anymore. And for me, that still seems fine, probably because I'm using a Dying Sun, but I haven't really noticed much of a difference in losing one of my Rolling Flames in any way, for the most part. So I do have extra jewels that now do fire damage, and it's kind of what you're looking for, so you can double dip the burn um, of your fireball, as well as the initial hit. Uh, as well as that, just basically respect a bunch of stuff to ES, grabbed Essence Surge, and respect these starting spell damage nodes into elemental nodes because they double dip on your burn. Uh, the passives we've taken go to Beacon of Ruin, Paragon of Calamity, and Golems. Now I will emphasize the importance of the Golems in my spec at the moment because I have 150% buff granted by your Lightning Golem, so Lightning Golem in the end gives me 31% attack and cast speed. That is very nice for my shield charge and that is very nice for my damage because I currently don't have much other cast speed. And Flame Golem gives me a shitload of damage too. So in total, these two golems give me huge DPS gains. My current single target and how I map quite often is with all these I'll show you in a second, has a 90k DPS. Popping both golems puts me up to 123,000. So you can see having these two up all the time is rather crucial and a very good use of a passive um, ascendancy. And I do have it attached to minion life support. So both these golems are pretty durable since they're immune to elements, uh, elemental damage. And besides that, they have about 15,000 life each. Now the main setup I'm running with most of the time, now that I'm 6-linked, which is very recent by the way, you can play it on a 5-link, is Fireball. Control Destruction, Increase Crit Damage, Fire Pen, and then I was running Pierce. Now my 6th link at this point is GMP, and that's mostly for quality of life um, clear speed. It costs a shitload of mana, and I'm running a mana flask permanently now, which doesn't bother me, that's perfectly fine. And then I sub out GMP for slow approach whenever I want single target damage. So half the time I'm going to be piercing things, half the time I'm going to be exploding uh, and overlapping with GMP. That's how I've decided to build, and it works great for me. Do whatever you feel like you need to. You might not want anything there um, with GMP. You might want LMP instead. You might want to go slow proj. Ultimately, I'm trying to level my Empower Gems, and I think a level 4 Empower slots in here the best, and then slow proj over PS for pure single target. Besides that, um, I will mention Opal Rings are very good for this type of build. If you can get some opal rings crafted with anger essences that do fire damage then you can get up to 50 percent fire damage on a ring um, this one's not as good and that does a lot for your initial hit and burn damage so i'd try and get some of that going the rest of the gear is pretty much stock standard ci stuff and face breakers and this is the dagger i've still been using so that hasn't changed my rings still haven't changed so that's something i need to do that's about all I need to say about the character for now. Uh, I will also mention my crit rate is 42 at the moment, and with full power charges through Orb of Storms, which is attached to power charge on crit, curse on hit, and assassin's mark, I have 5 power charges I think. I then get up to about 57 crit, and then Diamond Flask gets me even higher than that. So crit rate is pretty consistent, and I can do burns rather nicely. 
I'll probably have more stuff about this character in the next couple of days with Guardians and Shaper and hopefully a few conclusions. For now, that's all about Fireball. Hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe you want to try something out like this yourself. And I'll see you guys next time.